Bro, it's a 25% encounter rate for all of, like, all four of- There we go. Here we go. Our encounter that we are wanting to get is a s How the hell am I going to weaken this thing? What's up, internet? And welcome to the, um, ninth episode of Pokemon Red and Blue Guys slash walkthrough. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but- We'll see. Um, I guess you'll be able to tell from the title of the video. I unfortunately will not right at this moment. But hey, whatever. Anyway, in the last episode, if you missed it, make sure you go check it out. Um, essentially, we um, went through the Rocket Hideout. We went through Pokemon Tower. In today's episode, we're heading to Fuchsia City. Hopefully, going to get some new team members. And um, yeah, so without further ado, let us dive in. Now, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Um, to just show you support for the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. So, um, actually, let's take a quick look at the team. Who have we got right now? We have Marnie to the level 30, Raichu. We have Aragon, the level 31, Charmeleon. We have Florence, the level... I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Level 28, Nido King. And we have the Rat, level 29, Raticate. Now, um, we're back in Celadon City, as you can see. And if we head over here, there is... Ooh, a Snorlax. So it's another sleeping Snorlax. So, if we use the Poker Flute, which we got in the last episode, wherever it is, there it is, we can use that to, you know, wake it up and then just demolish it. So, without further ado, let us kill a Snorlax. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. We should be able to kill it this turn. Yeah, cool. Wait, we... Uh... Okay. Hopefully... Um, cool. That was, that took much longer than I expected it to. Uh, honestly, I thought that would be a quick done and done deal, but I guess not. But okay. So yeah, as I said earlier, we are looking to get a new team member today. There is, of course, one thing we're going to do to get, to prep for that, essentially. Well, there'll be two things, but you'll see. So the first thing we're going to do to prep for that is go to the department store. Um, and we're going to go up here. Um, up again. Up one more time, and here, and we'll buy ourselves a water stone. Because yes, the Pokemon we're going to be getting is a stone evolution. I know, it's very exciting. We should also might be getting another Pokemon, but um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, because it'll probably take a while for me to get it. Um, and so I might end up just sitting here, and just like filming, and then like, just putting my reaction. That's probably what I'll do. You'll see. Um... We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there, essentially. But let's make this episode about the one particular Pokemon we're going to encounter. So, uh, anyway, this is a new area. You can encounter, basically, Fearows on this route are the main thing. There are Doduos, Spearows, and then somewhere in here um, is a Fero, essentially, which is the evolved form of Spearow. There's also Eradicates. It's very similar to the route where we got Fly, and um, there's just a few differences here and there. But, okay. Uh, I really want to try and get Aragon evolved as soon as possible. Of course, this, um, this whole area's main gimmick is essentially that you have to be on your bike the whole time. And um, which is a bit of an annoying gimmick. It means that you can't really stay still for particularly long. Well, you know, you can't stay still essentially at all. But, uh, I mean, you know, it gives the area, I guess, some variety. But, I mean, with that, we are basically already through. Uh, I kind of want to go and try and take on maybe one more trainer. Just because I would like to level up Florence... But I guess Florence just died, so that didn't really pan out how I expected it to. So anyway, let's just head straight to um, Fuchsia City. Boom. Oh, I think up here there's something as well. Um, a trade. Yeah, yeah, Slowbro for Lickitung, which is really not worth it. Unless you're going for Pokedex Completionist, because that is the only place you can get Lickitung. Um, here's some trainers. Um, this is... Just kind of the same kind of Pokemon, Spearow, Spearow, Doduo, all that stuff. But there's a couple trainers there if you want to level up. But okay, here we are in Fuchsia City. Fuchsia City being the place of the fifth gym, which is right here. But we're not taking that on yet, and I'll explain why right now. Um, potentially, it is home to some very, very high level Pokemon. And the level gap between the fourth and fifth gym is about ten levels. It's insane. Um, you need to grind beforehand or else you're just not going to win. There are a couple things we can do beforehand that might give us the edge. And um, well, we'll see what those are. We'll see what those are. So, if we head into here, we can talk to this guy. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? 
Yes. Oh no, you have no room for my gift. Well, wow, that's really anticlimactic. Um, let us get rid of, bro, all, literally all of these are things we need. Two antidotes, oh well. I'm a fishing crew's older brother, I really love Taylor's and fish. We've got, we got the good rod, which is great. We didn't really need it, but you know, we've got it now. We can't throw it away, which is great. But without further ado, let us go and get our final Pokemon. Not our final, our fifth member of the team, which is down here, but we need to take this person on first. Oh well. And um, this is um, a general fishing surfing area. And we can't, in terms of what the encounters are, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle fishing and surfing areas in terms of encounters. But you can see um, here this, no, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. Um, I won't show fishing encounters, but generally, because with Old Rod you essentially get magic off. Super Rod, you can get a couple stuff, but what we are searching for, we'll see if we can leave it away. Super Rod, not even a nibble. Okay, we're just going to have to sit here fit for a sec. Um, let's just talk about, like, things. How's your day going? It's a Saturday when I'm recording this. I think this goes up on Sunday. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the guy, the thing. It's not. Oh, well. should probably make sure that I'm actually, like, looking in the right spot. Um, but okay. So, wait, I'll put the super rod at the top. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, so, yeah, my day's going well. It's just it's been a hectic Saturday. I've had quite a lot to do in terms of um, preparing stuff. I think there's a new series, assuming this goes up on time. And the series goes up on time. Um, a new collaborated, uh, my first collaborative series going up tomorrow on that person's channel. Um, um, and hopefully that all goes to plan. So it's been essentially preparing stuff for that. And just doing stuff generally as a family, with my family, you know. All kinds of, um, Lagan, you know, all kinds of stuff being done. I don't know why I said Lagan, that's really not even a word. Um, as you can see, we encountered a horsey and a goldine so far. Those are just kind of basic, I'm just looking up to make sure I can find this Pokemon here. And I'm not going stupid, but these are just some basic water types. Horsey evolves into Seedra. Seedra's alright, not great, but it's alright. And um, goldine evolves into Seeking, which is even worse. Um, wouldn't recommend that in the slightest, but I mean, you know, you do you, you do you. Where is... Okay. Am I looking in the right place? I think I am. What is this area called? Is this Route 19? It is Route 19. Okay. So, I... Am looking in the right place. I've just gotten very unlucky. Okay. Super odd. Goldeen. Okay. Hey, at least Florence is going to kill a lot of things. Goldine, okay. I mean, this is this is definitely one way of grinding. There's supposed to be literally more stuff here. I swear. Horsey. Bro, it's a 25% encounter rate for all of, like, all four of- There we go. Here we go. Our encounter that we are wanting to get is a Staryu. How the hell am I going to weaken this thing? Um, let us go into Maneater. And let's just go for a Thunder Wave first of all. Then, okay, cool, we got it. And um, this is what we wanted to get. Star U is a water type that evolves into Star Me through a water stone. Um, it is a water type initially, it evolves into a um, water psychic type. As you remember, we encountered Star Me and um, Misty's gym. It was um, Misty's ace, essentially. And we're going to name it. It kind of has to be Patrick, doesn't it? It kind of has to be. Um, we'll, are we going all caps? Nah. Okay, I will apparently I just can't even use a keyboard correctly. Okay. You, wait, 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 wait. Pat. Rick. Patrick. Awesome. Okay. Um, now, in terms of what we want in this thing, let's take a look. Let's take a look. It, because it's a stone evolution, it doesn't really learn any great moves, but there are a couple things we're going to teach it. And um, through TMs, as you can see, immediately we're teaching it Ice Beam. And um, this is also going to be our key against the gym. And as I realized that I didn't actually buy the water stone now because I didn't have enough room in my bag. Love that. But it's cool. We don't have fly on any of our mons. So we... Okay. Um... Mmm... <laughs> um... Okay. Let's go. Let's just quickly, quickly hop back. 
God bless the speed up button. Invented for purposes like this, where we can just go and collect. God, there's a lot of trainers there. Um, yeah, hi, what's up? What's up, what's up? We're gonna need to start, we're gonna need to start using, um, Star U then. Off screen, between this and the next episode. The fact that I managed to do that completely accidentally is probably the best part of it all. <laughs> I managed to just accidentally click switch, then send in the, our level 15 Star U, then keep our level 15 Star U for long enough that it died. Like, that's just impressive. But okay, okay, head to the Pokemart. This time, let's actually buy something. Okay. Waterstone. There we go. Cool. We have a Waterstone, which we can now use on Patrick and evolve Patrick into Starmie. Boom. Okay, Patrick evolved into Starmie. Awesome. Okay. And um, now, let us head down. Um, and we've got one more thing we're going to do this episode. Okay, apparently there's so many trainers in this route. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, we've got our Starmie, which is a good start. But if we come over here and up there and up there and up there. And um, yeah, through here. All the way over to this building. Yeah, this building. Into the safari, and this is the safari zone. You have to pay him some money to get in. And the big thing of the safari zone is you can only use, um, like safari balls, and you can't damage any of the Pokemon. There are a lot of Pokemon um, in the safari zone, and um, as you can see from all the encounter lists I'm going to be showing, um, there are like a lot of Pokemon that are exclusive here that are a pain to get. There's a glitch which I'll probably show off. Um, at some point, but god, this this sucks. The Mount Pokemon that are in the Safari Zone that you can really only get in the Safari Zone, it's dumb. But um, if you follow the route I am going in, we should be able to reach our destination, which is the game's way of getting um it's it's it's, it's kind of mandatory. It's the thing we need to do to get a gems to progress through the game. Okay, up here, up there. God, there's a lot of Nidorinos. Nidoran. We're encountering a lot of Nidorinos and Nidorans. I'm surprised. Okay. But like, for instance, the stuff like Tauros in here. Kangaskhan. Um, that's, and the, both of those are power. Absolute power. What else is there? There's, um... Cypher. Pinsir, depending on the game. Those are power. Um, okay. Are we going to actually have room for Surf? First person to reach out. Okay, we don't have room. I'll do the person's... I'll do the voice when I actually have room to get his item. Um, let's get rid of... Oh my god, this is all just... Let's toss off... No, we don't... We, I want to keep the great balls. Let's just toss the max ether. Fine, okay. Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. TXM received HMO3. Get in there! Okay, HMO3 is... Surf. It's by far the best HM. It's actually just a really good move. We're going to teach Patrick it and just give him some absolute power. And as you can see, we also did pick up the gold teeth earlier. And um, here, which I completely forgot to mention, which is the other mandatory thing you need to get from the Safari Zone. Now, ding dong, did you get a good haul? Come again. And um, the Safari Zone, we also have a limited amount of steps, which just makes it even better. And it's just a great time all around. Definitely wasn't anything wrong with it. And anyone who says it should ever come back for another game is completely wrong. Um, <laughs> that might be a bit harsh. No, it is. It's not harsh at all. It should never come back. I'd hate to see the Fire Zone in another game. But if you have to this warden, thanks, kid. No one could have done a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. And we get HMO4, which is great. And HMO4 is... Is is strength which um is a another really good move we're gonna teach that to uh, yeah florence can probably benefit from it there's probably some other pokemon we can teach it to is oh um if you use strength on this rock for instance actually i don't know if we can yeah yeah we can okay cool and um, you get it's no more room no more room for items don't know how we're actually gonna even work this when 
literally the only items we have now that we can get rid of. Oh, well, I, it's probably the best time to show off now um, a feature that I have never, ever used before in my life, but I really should because I have so many items now. This is um, how to deposit items. You go to your PC, TXM's PC, deposit item. We can finally deposit all the items that we're not using, except I really shouldn't have deposited. Okay, right. Let's do this properly. Old rod, we don't need. HMO1, we don't need. HMO5, we'll keep. Fresh water, we keep. Coin case, we'll deposit. Uh, lift key, we'll deposit. Bicycle, we'll, we don't want to deposit. But we did accidentally, so I'll grab it in a sec. Still scope, we'll deposit. Um, good rod, we'll deposit. Uh... What else do we want to deposit? Town map? Yeah. Stop trying to deposit great balls, mate. S Stop trying to deposit all the things I want to keep. SS ticket. Yeah. Dome fossil. Okay. No. You, you, we'll get... Okay, and then we'll take out the dome fossil. Not the... <laughs> oh, this is so aggravating. Okay. And we'll keep... The bicycle. Okay, we now should have a lot more space. Hopefully. That's the dream. Anyway, let's heal up and we'll call it there for an episode for now. It's, so, in this episode, we of course got our new team member, Patrick, um, who is pretty great, all things considered, hopefully, and will be a massive asset to the team. Off screen, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to get our newest team member and our final team member and probably grind up that team member and Patrick. So, I'll see you guys then. But for now, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay classy, stay clean, and all of that jazz. And peace out. Cheers.